Hi everyone, it's Chris, K2CJB. We're here in the Ham Shack today, and um, today I'm going to test something out that just came in the mail a couple of days ago. It was something I ordered when I first got the 817, which is a speech processor from our friends at Soda Beams. So the package came in uh, from the UK. What was really cool about Soda Beams and this, um, this purchase, I never purchased anything from them. And um, when I went to order it, uh, it was, they were out of stock. They didn't have them, and they were waiting for parts uh, to get them manufactured. So they, uh, they, they took a list of uh, people that were interested in buying them, and when, the, when they were available, they contacted those people first to let us know that, that we could get them. And uh, Lisa at uh, Soda Beams was kind enough to give, send me an email when they became available. I ordered it right away. It came pretty quickly, uh, international priority mail. <laughs> so we're going to test it today and see uh, how it works with the, um, with the 817. So let's uh, open the package up here. That's pretty neat. <laughs> A little coaster, that's cool. Uh, what else we have? Oh, here's the device. It's the uh, speech compressor for the um, 817. Comes with a nice little package here. A uh, little jumper cable, plug into the radio, and then the unit itself. Um, yeah, off and on. Pretty self-explanatory how it works. Um, so we can... Uh, I guess look online to see if there's any instructions. It says the instructions are available online. So maybe we'll take a quick look at those and before we test it out with the radio. So the next stop for us is to um, go to the bench where I have a scope and we can take a look at the, how this performs. Okay, here we are in the shop and uh, the lighting is not great out here, but uh, bear with it if you can. I'll try to make things a little better here. So you'll see the background. I've got a scope set up with a little, little tiny rubber duck on it. I've got the uh, radio set to six meters. Um, and what I did when I first got the rig was um, I set menu item 46, which is the uh, um, SSB mic level, to 75. I'm guessing that's 75%. Um, it comes stock at 50. I set it to 75. So let's see what the audio, what, what the signal waveform looks like when we uh, transmit at that, that uh, level. K2CJB testing. Hello, check. Hello, check. Hello, check. All right, so that's what we look like now without the speech compressor in. So now let's, uh, let's insert the speech compressor and see what happens. Okay, so now I've got the speech compressor in line. Here it is. It's uh, all set to go. I've got it turned off right now. So right now the waveform should look the same. Hello, check. Hello, check. Hello, check. And it looks like it does. So now let's turn it on. A little switch on the side. Now it's on. And now let's see what happens. Hello, check. Hello, check. Hello, check. Wow, look at that. The signal... <laughs> Checking, one, two, one, two, check, one, two. That's with it in, and this will be with it out. Check, one, two, one, two, check, one, two. Hello, check, one, two. Testing, K2, CJB, testing. One, two, check, one, two. I'll put it back in again. K2, CJB, testing. Kilowatt, two, Charlie, Juliet, Bravo, testing. We can see there's a lot more, <laughs> a lot more signal in there, isn't there? One, two, check, one, two. Hello, check, one, two, check, one, two. And we'll take it back out again. Hello, check, one, two, check, one, two, check, one, two. Definitely a difference. So now I'm, I'm really anxious to see how it works on the air. So, so there you go. That's the Soda Beams um, uh, speech compressor for the uh, FT817. It's also for the 18. Uh, simply goes in, in the mic line, plugs in right here. That's the microphone connector here. And then they give it this little pigtail, and you plug it into the radio, and off you go. So I've got, the, like I said, I've got the, um, that, uh, uh, the SSB mic gain set to 75. Um, so I have to see what it sounds like on the air. I actually try to listen to it and see what it sounds like. Okay, I'm back in the shack now, and I'm going to... Um, <laughs> this isn't a great test. In fact, I've been messing with it for a couple of minutes to try to get it so we can get some sort of a, an on-air test. It's not a great test. I've got my FTDX3000 turned on, obviously. I've got it set to antenna three, which has nothing connected to it. I've got the attenuation all the way down to minus 18 dB, and I've got the preamps out. Um, so um, I found out something interesting. Now this is with the, um, I've also turned the mic level on the 817 down to 50%, the way it comes shipped. Uh, so now I'm gonna operate, I'm gonna try the um, speech compressor with it off, and you can listen to the audio. Do, do your best, there's a little bit of feedback. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Now that's with it out. Now this is with it in. 
Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. As one would expect, it's getting a lot more audio. It's compressing. It's pulling the lower level up. That's why I'm getting a little bit of feedback. But I want you to listen to something. When I put my hand on the soda beams box, listen to what happens to the signal. Right now my hand is off. Right now my hand is on. My hand is on. Hand is off. One, two, three. Hand is on. Holding the unit. Hand is off. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know if that's normal. Um, not that I would be hanging on to it while I'm operating, but I'm wondering if it's getting some sort of RF into it or something like that. I don't know. Um, it is in a little plastic box, so I don't know if there's a shielding problem or something like that. But, you know, the only way to really find this out to see if this works is to take it out into the field. Okay, so that's the initial test of the, uh, the Soda Beams um, speech compressor. I'm a little troubled by the, uh, the fact when I put my hand on, just literally just, just holding it in my hand, I was getting that, um, it sounded like some sort of RF feedback, some sort of feedback happening. I don't know what it is. I don't want to say what it is. Uh, so I have to do some more testing with it in the field. I did notice I had to turn the mic gain down, which I anticipated uh, inside the 817. Uh, so we'll see. You know, I, again, I have to take it out into the field and um, make some contacts with it and see if it makes a difference. Um, but anyway, it came in. The, the, the customer support uh, to this point has been great. And uh, we'll play around with it some more. So there you go. That's the um, Soda Beams um, 817-818 speech compressor. Um, that was the initial test. So we'll see how it goes in the future. Uh, till then, uh, we'll talk to you again, uh, 73.